Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. This is Tony Pollard. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. Space to maneuver at the 40. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Off the play fake, Prescott. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. CeeDee Lamb is intended target. And it's second down. Prescott now. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Prescott from the gun. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. To throw is Prescott. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Tyus Bowser in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this one is incomplete. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. will even nope it doesn't even get there well short and this will remain a scoreless game so it's an empty possession there and you'd have to say it's not like him to come up short on a kick like that yeah and it's real easy for me to say this but anything in the 40 to 49 yard range should be pretty automatic for an NFL kicker especially in terms of at least getting it there so you're right that is a surprise that this would come up short Just shy of midfield. Jackson. Flushed out right. First down and more for Jackson. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Throwing is Jackson. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Throwing now. Jackson on first down. Dumps it off to Edwards. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Throwing again on second down. Jackson wide open as Watkins. He's got him. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Sammy Watkins, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And the Ravens are going to have fully good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Yeah, they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 43. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. One quarter down, 8-0 the score. Second and 11 now. Prescott. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Patrick Queen. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Flush to his right, and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They go play action with Jackson. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Jackson to Watkins there for a Baltimore first. Jackson on first down. Buying time to his left. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Here's the local Texas product, J.K. Dobbins. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That burst good for 20 and a first down. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Dancing to Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the offense will hold on to this one right at the five-yard line. Lucky there. He got it stripped, but you can see the panic in his face from up here through the helmet. He was able to dive back on it. A good bit of fortune for him because oftentimes on a strip sack, when that ball is wrenched out of your grasp, it can go in any different direction. It can go way away from you. In this case, it didn't matter. He was able to get on it. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. To throw is Jackson. Open man, Watkins. Touchdown, Baltimore. Sammy Watkins with his second touchdown here in this first half. As the Ravens push further out in front. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. Are you serious? Presented. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Now Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On first and 10, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. That catch is going to use their second timeout now. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the 44, Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. The passing game not in sync here early. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. The Cowboys will go. Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. One man in the backfield. That's Elliott on second and goal. Throwing. Prescott. And his ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Four in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. Forced out to his left. First down and more for Jackson. Ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Being chased out left. There he goes inside the 30. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Parsons. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages. Looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a... Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage. That'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Now Jackson on first down. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On first and 10, it's Jackson. He'll dump this off complete to Dobbins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They'll come out in the pistol. 
And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. Another shot from the one on second and goal. From the gun, Jackson. Flushed it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Able to extend their lead. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Demar. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. And Press got his third interception. Picked off at about the 31. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. So the Ravens will keep the offense on the field as they're going to go for two. They'll look to throw. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Tucker down to kick it away. <laughs> I see the message. The hey, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you feel me? On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he'll be brought <laughs> down shy of the 20. So the, the Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Now this throw caught left side. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Cowboys. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. Here's a throw to his running back. It's him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. And he's going to have a Ravens first down. He's going to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Another run here with Dobbins. And this play will be blown up. He'll loss. And now it's third down. Jackson. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 49. Hard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly. Down two scores. Here's a throw. Complete right side to start things out. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. So well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. 
Again, it's Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboys score. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. To throw again on second down. Jackson steps away to his left and he'll go down right around the 47 this time up to pick up the first off the play fake here's Jackson open man is the tight end Nick Boyle and they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. But here in this fourth quarter. They go play action with Jackson. And he will go down. The Cowboys sack. Throughout this game, You'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. Buying time to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still, that will be their third and final stoppage as they'll only have the two-minute warning now remaining. Jackson. Dancing to his left. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Winder. You just lock in on your target and say, I'm not even thinking about breaking stride. I'm running straight for the belt buckle because where it goes, that's where you find his body. And he's able to get in there and make a great play. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game ceiling touch. Now from the nine, here's second. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the... But now it's third and goal. Throwing now is Jackson. Flush to his right, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson with now his second touchdown of this third quarter, and the Ravens will extend their lead. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this portion of the field, where things shrink a little bit, the Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were... Oh, wide open, complete! And he makes it all the way down to the 31. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. They go for one here and save the possible two-point conversion for later. I think you do because if you go for two here and you don't get it, that's deflation. Yeah. Now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy one now and come back and try and get it later. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Leather on that one. Their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. It's school, college, or the NFL. 
Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Now Dobbins again on second down. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. GG's my boy. So the final seconds GG's. tick away in this Baltimore victory. And they were booing Charles game, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one. That was a good game, y'all. For real, for real. Like, it is what it is. But if y'all new to my channel, man, just make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell. We drop bangers on the daily. It's your boy JB. And I'm going to holler at you guys later, man. Peace.